Two pots for the contact lenses, please. Take her for a CT scan. Yeah, it's CT scan time now. Um, we know that she's got a fracture of the base of the skull, and clearly the, the brain has received an insult. Any insult that causes that sort of fracture is usually one that will cause some damage to to the brain. So you've just got to hope that it's not it's not too bad now. As the trauma team rushes Kate through to the CT scan. Across town, Pete is ready to fly 11-year-old Delen Moore back to hospital. Should be okay, I think. She's not. She's able to move. She's able to move her legs. So, well, I mean, bashed neck, she's bashed her neck and she's been crushed underneath. So, I don't really know. You know, you don't know. I mean, there's a mechanism in there. She's yeah. got neck pain. Get her to a neurosurgical hospital. Plate and scanner. Do what's needed. Just hold on to my hand now, okay? Although she has had painkillers, Delenn is still conscious and Pete reassures her throughout the flight. He's through, got my sales landing. All right, who's uh, team leader? Tim Hi, this is Delen. She's 11 now. She's been trampled by large numbers of school children. And after they'd all got gone, she was lying on the ground in a semi-prone position, complaining of neck pain, severe neck pain, and head pain. Okay. When the crew arrived, she was GCS 15, but complaining of these pains. Okay. Why are not on? Meanwhile, over in the radiology department, Kate is ready to have her CT scan. This allows doctors to study images of her brain to see whether she has a blood clot. Unfortunately, their worst fears are confirmed. Oh, crikey, run. Blumenay. Okay, straight to theatre's ASAP, if we may. The scan shows that Kate has a large blood clot in her brain, and it's getting bigger. Look at all that air as well. Let's move, let's move, let's move, let's move. To be such a waste of space. Since Kate Close was thrown from her horse. Following a brain scan, doctors detected a large blood clot under her skull. If it's not removed quickly, Kate will die. Surgeons at the Royal London are preparing to operate to remove the clot from her brain. Using the CT scans, they can pinpoint its exact position. After removing the skin, the surgeons cut through the skull to reveal the clot and gently scrape it away. Thanks to her fast transfer to the hospital and into theatre, the surgeons are hopeful they've been able to get to the clot in time. You're about three hours and 45 minutes, Nick, from injury, even with the delay on the bridal way, which is uh, pretty good going, actually, given that uh, we should get all of these within four hours. Yeah. They do a lot better if the human terms are taken out within six hours. Although the operation has gone well, it will be some time before they can tell how much damage has been done. Upstairs on the roof of the hospital, the helicopter is off again. Someone has fallen from scaffolding only a few miles away, near Tower Bridge. I think I failed to mention that this is a construction site that you're going to, over. Roger, that's copy, thanks. I might see an airborne, should be overhead in about three minutes. With so much building going on in London, accidents on construction sites have become routine for the HEMS team. Your patient has uh, multiple injuries. He was not wearing a hard hat, and he is still on the fifth floor. There is access via ladders, which are being cleared at the moment, over. Oh, great. All oh, copy, thanks, my Sharon. Ah, I'll get you fit. Bloody marvellous. Fifth floor, eh? I think we'll stay on the ground for this. Look after the aircraft. Yeah, right, eh? <laughs> The pilots have managed to land reasonably close to the accident on the building site. Dr. Steve Oakey and paramedic Sue Boardman must cover the last few hundred yards on foot before climbing the five floors to reach their patient, builder Lance Landau. Oh, yeah. Hiya. What's his name? Lance. Matt. Lance. L Lance. 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 Oh, sorry. sorry. You're in the south now, mate. Yeah, yeah absolutely. 
Hi, Lance. Could you just get that mask out of my left eye? Sorry, please? mate. There you, go. there you go. My name's Steve. I'm one of the doctors from the helicopter. Hi. Uh -huh. You remember what happened to you? Yeah. No, I don't. No. Okay. What hurts now? My shoulders a bit. Just your shoulders. Any pain in your neck at all? No. Okay. Can you just wiggle your feet for me? All right. And your legs and back all feel normal? No, yes. And you no difficulty breathing? No. 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 Okay. Excellent. Right. Okay, I think... Uh, I'm rather wondering what all the fuss is about, actually. Well, you know, it gives us something to do. Oh, keeps us off the streets. Off the street. That's yeah. right. Now, I'm glad that everything looks good, but we do need to be a little bit concerned about your head and neck, just because the distance you've fallen and you have been knocked out. First glance, this guy looks okay. Uh, he has been knocked out. He's fallen about 30 foot, actually, from the very roof onto here and slid down. The most difficult thing at the moment is the difficult position he's in, which obviously puts these guys uh, in a little bit of a precarious situation. So what I want is him scooped and off onto this sturdier scaffolding. What hurts a bit are my shoulders. Okay, okay. Well, we don't want you to move at all, all right? We'll do all the moving, all the work. Oh, yeah, my shoulders definitely hurt. Okay. Although Lance has pain in his shoulders, Steve's first concern is to get him out from where he's wedged, in a gap between the roof and the scaffolding. <laughs> There, done it. Okay. And on three, okay. Go down. Ready? On yeah. three. One, two, three. And down. Yeah, right. Great. Brent, do you want to give two mils of each of those? Okay, Lance, we've given you some painkiller now. It might make you feel a little bit sleepy and drowsy. That's quite normal. En enjoy it. Once the painkillers have started to take effect, the team can work out how to get Lance down from the fifth floor. Now he's nicely packaged on that scoop, keeping his spine, etc., all nice and straight. Um, the fire brigade take over, make sure he's firmly strapped onto it, because uh, we've got to carry him down a ladder downstairs to the next floor before we can uh, get him out onto uh, one of their lifting platforms. With Lance relatively stable and the hospital not far away, Steve decides to send the helicopter back and take Lance to the hospital by road. Hello, this is Hems. We'd like to bring you a patient by road, please. Uh, it's a 43-year-old chap who's landed on the roof on the sixth floor. But we're on the ground now. We're in Bermondsey, just south of Tower Bridge. So we'll be with you in about 10 to 15 minutes, I guess. Uh, he's uh, been knocked out, GCS 14. Uh, he's got pain in both shoulders and query head. That's why we're bringing it to you. That's right, yeah. All right, see you then. Bye. Just phone in the London uh, A&E, whenever we take a patient to any A&E, we give them a ring, let them know what we're bringing so they can get a trauma team ready. So uh, just while the firemen get their rope back and we'll be ready to leave. with the state he's in at the moment, the painkillers and the sedation we've given him. He's just nicely quiet, eyes shut, but if you talk to him he responds nicely. I was otherwise trying to get him down that ladder and down in the, the lift uh, with him in pain. Might have been very, very difficult for it, very uncomfortable, all the jolting and moving around. I can't see anything obvious on there at the moment, but uh, they'll need a proper look at and x-rays in A&E, uh, in &E, and we're here now. This is Lance Landau. He's 43, yeah. he's on a building site and fallen from a corrugated roof mm -hmm. about 25 foot mm -hmm. onto a uh, sloped roof that's under construction. He was knocked out, yeah. don't know for how long, but when we got there it was quite alert GCS 14, okay. just eyes closed. Yeah. Was, did move all four limbs. Okay. Complaining of pain in both shoulders, yeah. chest was okay, mm -hmm. pelvis looks okay although he was wedged up against a piece of the scaffolding sticking out. Lovely. Thank you. He should only have relatively minor injuries. Hopefully, he may have dislocated or, or broken a bone in his shoulder. Uh, and obviously, with the fall and the fact that he's going to be knocked out, we're going to worry about his head. Uh, so that will get scanned. But uh, so far, so good. And his blood pressure, everything else, is fine. He, he should be hopefully made fairly minor injuries. As Steve suspected, X-rays showed that Lance had broken a bone in both shoulders. He was kept in overnight and allowed to go home the next day to recuperate.